we just stumbled upon this unique art project called the Waterman's Way. Uh, it's a project where there are 15, about, I think they're three foot tall boots that uh, local artists in the Chesapeake Bay area have personalized with their art and scattered across different locations. And the original intent of the project was to fund a art gallery that was in Kilmarnock. You guys, look at those welly boots. It's a sculpture. Why don't you come along with us and see what we see from the Waterman's Way Art Project. Let's go. The project, I'm not sure, is still an ongoing thing with donations, but we were able to find uh, 13 of the locations that um, of the 15. So it's a unique way for you to add something art, RT, into your daily sightseeing as you go around the Chesapeake Bay area. We will include the what three words for every location that we were able to find so that you can find them easily. Uh, we did have some trouble being able to find several of them. Uh, some of them had been slightly moved from where they were in the original listing for the project. You guys, look at those welly boots. It's a sculpture. So after we stumbled upon the first pair that we saw at the Mariners Museum there in Deltaville, we had stopped by a local seafood place, J&W Seafoods there, and I saw another pair of them on the outside of the building. And the name of that pair that is on the outside of J&W Seafood is called In the Wake. And that's the ones that you see here that we're showing you now. So then I looked into this as a project a little bit more and we had planned a trip the next day to go up to Irvington and Kilmarnock. There's two, there were some locations there that we wanted to see. So as we got to Irvington, we went to one of the locations, which was the Tides Inn, and we drove up to where uh, the valet parking is there, and there were no boots anywhere in sight, and you know, with COVID-19, we decided that we did not want to stop. So I looked those up after we got back, and they're actually located side of the terrace, and I've noted that here for you where I think that the location is. Another location that we found in Irvington was at the Steamboat Era Museum. The name of the pair that is located there is the Waiting Around pair. And these are another pair of the Waterman's Way boots. That's why we've stopped at this location. So here at the art gallery that's called Objects, is this pair called Grabber's Paradise. We then made our way up to Kilmarnock and the next pair of boots that we found were at the Lancaster Community Library. The name of these boots that are there, and these are actually one of my favorite pairs that we saw, is the Technicolor Fish Boots. So here is, in the town of Kilmarnock, another pair of the Waterman's Way boots. This is the one titled River Critters and it's at one of the local parks. 
And so the other pair that, um, besides the um, river critters pair that we just saw that's close to um, gather here is the ones that are at the bank. And it's called the All, it's all about community, the Chesapeake Bank, not too far away from them. Uh, on a side street at the Kilmernock Inn is the next pair that we saw, which was called the Freedom Pair. And at the local art museum, uh, which is uh, the museum that this program was originally designed to support was the diatoms pair. And just directly up the street from the art museum is another pair that we found, which was called Step Into the Bay pair. You can see those right here. This is another pair of the boots on the Waterman's Way. And this one is titled, entitled Bejeweled. And it's in front of Burke's Fine Jewelers here in Kilmerock. These are the last Waterman's Way boots for Kilmernock that we needed to find. And this one is called Fish Lips. We stopped by the bank, which is no longer the Bank of Lancaster as you see here. Um, I was looking for the Bay's Bounty pair that you see in this picture, but it was nowhere on the outside of the bank. And it did not look like the lobby was open for just people to walk in there. It was mainly drive-through service, so I did not go inside because of that. So I can't really verify if those are still located there. And uh, also the bank has changed ownership. It's no longer the Bank of Lancaster. We had a lot of fun tracking down all of these different pairs of boots that we could see, and we were able to at least find the locations of 13 out of the 15. So it's a lot of fun. Hope this helps you find them. Bye everyone and keep exploring for what matters.